I right, hope you guys can um, see and hear me. Uh, I was going to make this video with my other camera, but it's at home, and I'm a little inspired to make it right now, so that's why I'm doing this now. Um, okay, first of all, I'm Jay the Haitian Mogul. For those of you who don't know who I am, um, today, I'm going to talk to you guys about, well, today's first of all, it's Friday, so you know it's MCA payday. If you work for MCA, you got paid today. Okay, if you didn't work for MCA or didn't promote MCA, or whatever you didn't get paid, but you might have made money other ways, like I did. Um, this week has been a little crazy week, only because uh, it snowed down here, which is not saying a lot, because Georgia can't handle the snow. So when when it snows, the city, the whole state kind of shuts down. So that's what we kind of was experiencing over here. Uh, we still got patches of snow over here and everything. Let me see if I can show you guys right quick. Still got some patches down here, but that's pretty much it. I hope I'm not getting a cold. I'm really hoping I'm not getting cold. I've been fighting. This. I didn't have to get a cold all year last year. And I've been taking my medicine every morning now. My vitamin C. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to keep an eye on it. If I have to, I'll just pop a NyQuil and take a nap later. Um, But... This video, I really want to talk to you guys about ah, what to do when you're in situations like this. Like, this week. Like, this week, I had to call out of work Tuesday because it snowed so bad. And it, it brought a lot of snow by my house and it had some ice on the ground. So, like I said, the state shut down. So, there was, it was almost like a state of emergency for it. But we was only pushing, like, 15 degrees at the time. Which... It's cold, but it's not cold compared to some most places that experience this on a daily or experience this all, every winter. But um, what made me upset about it, I guess, is because excuse me, not only did it snow, but like I said, I took a day off. I had a day to call out Tuesday, missed the whole day of work, which I was happy about, but I wasn't happy about because I'm missing out on money. So instead, what I So I was actually um, speaking to a couple of friends of mine that day. Um, one of them, both of them actually were talking to, talking about foreign exchange, Forex. And so uh, that would be something I'll be looking into within the next shoot, month. Just to see what what it's all about. Because um, it's a lot of money in it. And I'm not going to go into it right now. Because I really I don't have all the information that I, that I need to actually be talking about this. So I'm going to go ahead and get the information. <laughs> Share it with you all, and then from there, we'll just see what happens. You know, um, it's like with everything, you gotta be serious about it, and you gotta actually make your, you know make your plan, and take action. Now, so one of them same friends I was talking to was actually telling me about. Um, so she was a little pissed, actually, because I had told her my my manager at the time that I was already took off Tuesday. Cause it was I was locked I was snowed in, so, but if I was but working online as a graphic designer I was still I still had work so I was pretty much working all day but I just couldn't clock into a nine to five, so this of course you got to tell the difference between a, a place that got uh, where there's nine to five where you have to clock in you have to walk in you know what I'm saying so those types of places of course you know you can uh, have to either call out. Or try to make it and hope that you can make it there safe. And that's what I wasn't finna do. I was cause she don't they don't care about us, you know what I'm saying? I, in my opinion, a lot of nine fives don't give really give a fuck about their employees. They just numbers, you know, just help them meet reach their quota, reach whatever deadline they're trying to do, whatever they're trying to do for the company, that's what they do. So, um she was pissed because I talked to my manager and I, I, she called me, I called her back. So we got on the phone, and she telling me, you know, see if I can come in the next day, which is cool. Because I'm like, okay, cool. So, But I'm looking like, the time is like 7.30 at night, so it's already dark. And I look outside, it's still snow all around my car. Still ice. Some car, a couple of cars maybe went down my street, but it wasn't very much at all. And she basically had a fit about it. Like, it was like, well... Cause I was like, I told her I, was like, I can come in, but it ain't gonna be too late. You know what I'm saying? When the sun come up and the melt, the sun, ice starts smelling, then I can actually drive my car. I'm not gonna risk my life to get somewhere that I, I you know, you know what I'm saying? It's not that serious. 
So, even if for my fucking job, 9 to 5. So, I'm like, okay. So, she's really pressed about this. So, I'm a little upset because I'm like, I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing stuff for my own benefit, for my safety. But you going off on me about some bullshit time. I'm like, okay. So, what she ends up telling me is um, that they can send somebody up to my house to pick me up. Now, first of all, I've had a job where they did this. I had another job that did this before. I don't pre I don't like it. I don't care for it. I, I don't I don't trust everybody to drive. To trust to drive me any fucking where. Um, definitely not my wife any fucking where. Only because most people don't know how to drive. So I told her, no, nah, I'm good. So what I ended up doing, I ended up getting in contact with a co-worker. Well, she works up here. And uh we cool. So I reached out to her and I told her, like, look, you know, this lady is like finna make me choke her out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a little pissed off. You know, cause you look, you showing me some a lot of a lot of inconsideration right about now. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of bitch assness, is what I like to call it. So, um, she I worked it out with her, so we ended up coming up here. So my whole thing is reason why I even brought this up, reason why I even talking about this, is it, so is to link back to what I was saying as my as far as my other friend goes, and why she was upset because at this job, man, it's a job. Now, when it comes to situations like this, and you have bad weather. And certain areas, states, cities, or whatever, might not be prepared for it. So when that happens, a lot of times businesses usually shut down. Now you know, as security guards, you don't really get a, an off day as far as like holidays and stuff like that. Especially at an airport, and that's where I work at. I do security at my airport, like right here. The, the airport right here, right. That's the airport. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I already know you guys don't shut down. You guys already open 24-7. So, you hit me up about this. Now, keep in mind, since I came to work yesterday, I didn't just go back at 9.30 because she gave me a fit. So, my friend was actually able to, because she was supposed to be here at, nine, at 7. So, I actually made it over here like 7.30. She'd be all right. So, um, and she drove perfectly, by the way. You see what I'm saying? So, I can't I can't trust everybody. Um, But, especially when a situation like this, most places shut down, and people don't go to work. Now, of course, you do miss money, you do miss out on money, but you're safe at home. You know what I'm saying? And you're away from whatever the bullshit is outside. Nine to five. Not most nine to five don't don't agree with that. They don't believe in that. So they rather you just show up, figure it out. Because people didn't show up to work. Now people came into work today, not today, but Monday. I think a lady had to stay over, work a double. Two people had to do, do doubles. I got to do pick up, pick up a couple of extra shifts next week. So, the thing is, they don't care. They will put, they will be more at risk by putting your life at risk with the chance of their business actually being ha going having business on the, on the day that is a state of emergency. Now, I'm not going to say it's foolish, but it, to me, I think it's a little dumb. I think it's a little dumb. Why I say that? Because, again, like, I'm up here. Which is, like, I'm not going to complain about it because it's free, easy money. I'm sitting on my ass for $8. Did this yesterday. Well, nobody up here. Same thing's going on today. Again, I have no issues with that. Because I can do work on my phone. I can connect with people. I can do this and do that. My thing is... My thing is, I don't... I don't want to feel like I have to, have to come in on a bad... Bad day, especially if it's a, a bad day with weather stuff. Could, it could be, you know, it could be floods. It could be all this shit's going on. So me and I, unless it's a tornado come hit my house, I have to come into work. I don't want to do that shit no more. And that's when I tell everybody I don't want to do none of that anymore. Like the nine to five shit, it can miss me with it because it's for the birds, man. I mean, I'm I'm like not trying to like be funny or nothing like that, but I just I don't I never really appreciated. The, the method, the process, or the, uh, what do you call it, the handling of, of employees in most 9 to 5s. Like, even the, the same friend that was mad about me ever coming to work yesterday, like, her job pays good, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get jobs that pay $15 an hour and up, but you assume you might be set, you know what I'm saying, that you might be taken care of because it's a good job. You get benefits, you get bonuses, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, the same job, 
It's, it's, it's fine, everybody. Within a month, man. So, it's like... This is where I tell everybody that you really want to, like, open your eyes to what's going on around you because there's a lot of different things that's changing, and it's for the better. Like, just because you don't understand it right now doesn't mean that it's, it doesn't make sense. You just got to ask somebody that knows. And, hell, you can always ask me because I'm always i always talking about random shit. I love talking about business. I love network marketing. I've been reading a lot about the MLMs. I've been, putting that, I've been actually looking at that on my tablet. I actually just got this book um, from one of my friends, actually. She gave me this book, so I've been reading this. But you know, you guys know I got my notebooks, so I jot down my notes all the time in these. <laughs> you know, you got to keep moving. You got to keep working. You got to keep educating yourself. You got to keep learning. And keep writing shit down. Write stuff down all the time. So, I just really wanted to, like, touch that. And see what you guys thought about that. Because if I don't like it, I know a lot of people out there that don't like it either. So, let me know what you think. You know, do you agree with me? Do you not agree? Leave it in the comments below. You know, like my video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, don't leave me no dislike because we're going to have some problems. No, we ain't going to have no problems. Um, <laughs> but nah, just let me know what you think, man. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys know I'm always working. Yo, the training site is almost done, man. I want to tell you guys that. The training site is almost done. Uh, I actually got the, 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 layout, the layout is already set up. I'm actually about to have it to where you guys can um, register shit this weekend, really. So once I upload this video to YouTube, and I'm um, going to work on another video. I'm working on that video as well. But I want you guys to, like... Check this shit out, man. It's going to be awesome. And it's free. Like I said, it's free to sign up, free to register, free to watch my trainings. So what I'll do from now on is when I when I do that, um, my in-depth videos will be on my training site. You'll get videos like this or like a summary video about something or shoot, anything. Um, it could be just to tell you what's gonna, what I'm going to be working on. And then you just look at it for the on the um, training site and then check that out from there. All right. So uh, I'm going to let you all go on that note. Enjoy your Friday. Um, also, please be good to each other, man. You know, it's a, it's a it's a big, large world out here, but it's too many of us that's you know, you know we're not working together. So we gotta work together and work and do better. All right. So thank you guys so much for your support and for watching me. I, I really appreciate it. Like you guys really do understand because you guys are actually the reasons of what they help me keep getting up, keep doing this every day. So I really, really, really appreciate the support. And please bear with me. I, I know I got a lot of messages coming. Lord, y'all, y'all blow me up, man. <laughs> I need an assistant. So if anybody wants to intern and help a nigga out, please hit me up. Cause it's a lot. I'm on overload right now. I'm I'm overloaded on messages. I'm on, on emails, overloaded on messages on my pages. It's just a lot. So just hit me up if you're interested in interning for me for some months. And then after that, you know, we'll start paying or whatever, depending on um how it goes. Thank you guys again so much for, for paying attention and for watching my sh my channel and for watching this video. I'm going to see you guys on the next one, alright? Y'all have a good one.